Hey there, it's Michael with Spiffy, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up a new Infusionsoft order form theme. Now, it, a lot of people don't realize that if you've been a Infusionsoft customer for many, many years, about three and a half to four years ago, Infusionsoft actually updated the Infusionsoft order forms, and there's two different types of Infusionsoft order forms. The caveat is that the order form uh, the, the, the type of order form is dependent on the order form theme, not actually creating a new order form. So even if uh, you've been creating new order forms, if they've been using the, a default theme that pre-existed the update, you're still using the old version of the Infusionsoft order forms. And there might be a good chance that you, that, uh, you have some that are on the old version of the order forms and some that are new. Um, Spiffy is designed to work with both. But there are some certain uh, situations where if you're using some of our custom code snippets and uh, things to, to help you get some extra functionality that's unique for your specific situation, uh, that typically just works on the newer forms. So you want to be making sure that you're using the new Infusionsoft order form themes. Uh, one important thing to note is that when you create a new theme and you change your order form to be using that theme, the act of changing to a new theme erases your custom code. Uh, so any custom HTML code that you have on your theme will be erased, so you wanna make a backup of that. So when we get to that point, I'll, I'll remind you of that. So first off, just head to e-commerce setup. Order forms is where you normally create your order forms. Order form themes is where you create a new order form theme. Just simply create on create a new theme, one column, click, uh, click this one little link there, and we'll call this uh, spiffy new theme. Hit save. And um, especially if you're using spiffy, you'll want to use uh, the elements of the drag and drop builder to load all of your content. So if you want a logo at the top left, uh, just for example, you can upload your logo in Spiffy. Um, otherwise, you can upload a logo here, but let's just delete that, hit OK. And you'll want to keep all of the normal CSS in here. Kind of counterintuitive, counterintuitive but uh, Spiffy is designed to work and deal with all that, so don't mess with anything there. All right, so now we're going to go back to our order form. And we are going to use this one because this is kind of a test page. And we're going to change this order form theme from Spiffy New to Spiffy New. What was that? A theme. Um, so just so you can see, I'm going to copy this just so I have a backup of it. But when I change a theme, it's going to delete this code. So I'm going to come down here. This is the new one that we just created. I'm gonna make that activated. Spiffy new theme is our theme now. And if I come over here to the HTML areas, my code is now gone. So make sure, make sure, make sure to make a backup of any custom code that you have. Uh, and then just copy and paste it right back in, hit save, and you're good to go. So that's how you create a new Infusionsoft order form theme. And you change the theme of your existing order form to a new order form. A very important step, can't stress it enough, just make sure that you make a backup of your custom code. That's all, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for using Spiffy, we'll talk soon, bye.